Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the topic of foundation. You guys may or may not know if you've been watching my last few videos that I'm kind of obsessed with like finding a new foundation right now. I currently use the YSL Touche Claw, which I like, but I have not found that it gives enough coverage and I need that. <laughs> Know what I'm saying? So that's this one right here. Um, I really like it, and they make my shade, which is like, thank you, Lord. But it's not enough coverage. I need like a medium to full. This is like sheer to maybe medium. Um, and it doesn't really build very well. Some foundations do and some don't, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with the formula, but it's just, you know, not my holy grail. So just to give you a little bit of background on my particular skin, I am literally one of the hardest humans to match in foundation I'm not even kidding and I will tell you that in Sephora so far three brands make a shade that matches me three that's it it's very very difficult my problem is that I'm light but I'm also very pink so recently I went to Sephora because I wanted to try out the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I've been seeing so many reviews saying how amazing it is and saying how it looks like skin and it's beautiful and flawless and perfect and I was like yeah I need that in my life so I went to check it out and I'm sad <laughs> I'm sad at the shade range that they have and I did hear that they're coming out with more which is good the girl who was helping me with the Too Faced formula was saying okay if you can't find your shade in that one let's go look at the Marc Jacobs and I could tell she really really loved the Marc Jacobs formula so finally I reluctantly moseyed on over to Marc Jacobs now this is their new formula of foundation it's called remarkable isn't that cute? This is what the box looks like. This is what the bottle looks like. It's nice, sleek, classy looking packaging, just like all of the Marc Jacobs products. Um, when you open it up, there's like this little guy, and then you open it, and the little dot situation comes out. Now, right away, you guys will know that this drives me absolutely batty. There is absolutely no reason why you need to dot this stuff on your face. You are just gonna put germs back in the bottle, and it drives me crazy. There needs to be a pump, Mark. Come on. So what I've been doing is just taking my metal like palette and it's just like, you know, the flat kind that you when you're a makeup artist and you yeah. This one. So it's really dirty. Don't be sad. Um I just when it's clean, I will just take the little dot dotting stick thing and put some on here so I can use it from there and not deposit bacteria back into my bottle. So right off the bat that drives me crazy, but like price, I am willing to sacrifice certain functions for the quality of the um, actual foundation inside. So one thing I do have to say about the Marc Jacobs formula is that they do have a lot more shades than the Too Faced formula did, which is awesome. I will say though that their shades are funky. Like they are so not typical foundation shades, it's bizarre. I'm not even sure what the deal is with that, but once again there was nothing that matched my skin all like they have like beige ones that are for like pink undertones and they were just weren't they were not right at all I don't know why my skin tone is so hard to match I really don't I wish I understood but the girl tried this shade on me and it's probably the closest because it's the same deepness level so it is the second from the lightest and this is actually yellow undertone but I really wanted to get it because when I tried it on the coverage was really nice the formula was really nice it was so smooth and fine and just like silky like it's really really beautiful which I was surprised coming from Marc Jacobs now Marc Jacobs as a brand and I kind of have a weird relationship when it first rolled out I was working at Sephora and I did not like any of their products except for two. I liked their eyeliner pencils because they do not come off. Like even if you try to take them off, they don't come off. They'll be there for like two days. And they're really creamy and smooth, so they're good for like smoking out or for just, you know, any kind of lining or whatever. And I did like their shadows, but they're way too expensive and it's just mostly shimmery, so I just never bought any of those. But their complexion products, pff, no. I mean, there was nothing good and some people like the Genius Gel but I did not like it. I kind of saw it as way too overpriced for what it was. But in recent times they have stepped up their game massively. But I wanted to get the formula because it's a beautiful formula and I wanted to review it for you guys after trying it out for a little while. So but in general this foundation is a full coverage foundation. It is actually matte when it dries down which I don't typically love but you can really change that with products, extra products that you use and stuff like that so that doesn't bother me too much. So I'm going to read from the Sephora website what it says about this foundation. So it says an ultra lightweight oil free foundation concept 
concentrate that delivers 24 hours of full coverage wear. Now, we will never know if it delivers 24 hours, nor do we care because no one wants to wear the makeup for 24 hours. That's disgusting. It's ultra lightweight. Yeah, it actually is. Um, it goes on really, really kind of effortlessly and flawlessly, and I build it up to a full coverage, but if you don't, it actually goes on really, really evenly and looks really nice. So they refer to this as like a foundation concentrate or like a serum foundation kind of thing. Um, I think it's just a foundation, but I do think that they are spot on with the coverage. I think the coverage is really good. I love a foundation that you can wear kind of like a medium coverage, but build it up to full if you want. I don't consider it full coverage until it is at least what I'm wearing now, where like because my skin's so light, you can see all my veins through it. And when you can no longer see my veins, that's full coverage. <laughs> so any foundation that cannot provide that to me is just not quite exactly what I'm looking for. They recommend using it with a buffing brush, and I'm guessing that's mostly because Marc Jacobs makes brushes. Um, they make really great brushes too, by the way. But for me, I am like... I'm not going to use a foundation if you can't apply it with a beauty blender. So I took it home and tried it and I have been able to get really good results with the beauty blender. You just want to make sure that it is wrung out as much as possible. When I was in the store, I swear, I swear that I read the box and it said one ounce. I swear I did. What did I read that said one ounce that looked like this? Oh, that's weird. I wonder if their primer, which is right next to it, I wonder if that's one ounce and I picked that up. That's one thing that drives me crazy. When a brand sells a foundation that is under one ounce, that drives me absolutely crazy because it's a very sneaky way of charging a lot of money and giving you less product. Um, the bottle's the same size as other bottles. This is 0.75 ounces, so it's really only three quarters of an ounce, and yet it is a $55 foundation. So if you were actually to pay for an ounce of this foundation, like most other foundations, it would cost you $73.33. People. No! It's a great formula. It's amazing. Um, I really love the coverage. I love the way it wears. I think it's just beautiful and flawless, especially for on camera. So if you're like me and you cannot find your shade in this foundation or other foundations, I at least was able to find one that was close but just too yellow. Everything else about it was right. So I actually mix this one with my Touche Eclat foundation, which makes me feel better about this one. But the two mixed together is like... Yes. I tried this one out on its own and I wore it on its own and it's beautiful, it's matte, it's long wearing and it's gorgeous coverage, but because of the shade I have to mix them together. This one's not matte, it's not full coverage, it doesn't add a whole lot of like heaviness to what this already is. So it's actually a great combination, especially for me since I have to get the color right. It's a great, great formula. It doesn't transfer, it doesn't feel heavy, it's like, it's weird. Um, especially because I set it with the Laura Mercier translucent powder, which I adore, and my beauty blender, and I just kind of like pat and roll like this to kind of melt it into my skin. So overall, I think this is a great foundation. If you're cool with paying $73 per ounce for a foundation, absolutely do it. Buy it. It's amazing. It will work for pretty much the gamut of skin types. And if you can find your perfect shade without having to mix, that's even better. So I highly recommend this as a formula. Like I said, if you're not opposed to paying that price tag. So there are other foundations that I want to try out, like I've talked to you guys about before, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and also the um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which I'm hoping I hate because it's also very expensive. So I hope that you guys give it a try and that you love it as much as I do, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!